Many companies have standardized a Microsoft Teams for their collaboration and messaging needs. We're going to discuss how you can take Microsoft Teams to the next level and use it for your enterprise communication platform. Hi, my name is Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and doesn't necessarily reflect the views of my employer. We're going to talk about Microsoft Teams and taking it to the next level so you can really utilize it as an integrated and unified platform for all of your employees' communications. From an overview perspective, we're going to look at what Microsoft Teams is. We're going to discuss the phone features that Microsoft has to offer. And we're going to investigate the two ways that you can leverage the Microsoft phone system service. And then we're going to talk about some limitations. And there are some very significant limitations that Microsoft has. And then we're going to talk about a third way you can leverage Microsoft Teams for your enterprise communication system. And in my opinion, the best way you can leverage Microsoft Teams. From an overview perspective, Microsoft Teams was originally conceptualized as a messaging and chatting capability within the Office 365 environment. It has evolved into more of a team building and team repository of communications. That includes file sharing, the, or, the original chat functionality, but also video and audio conferencing. Now people are beginning to explore the phone system for a communications platform alternative to a traditional PBX. Now Teams saw a lot of adoption when everyone was sent home during the COVID pandemic. And that adoption has created an environment where organizations can now look at ways of leveraging Teams in new and different ways. And an enterprise voice communications platform is the next logical step to take with Teams. Teams is a phone system, and it's also called phone system within Teams. It's designed to replace your PBX platform that you may still be running. There are a couple things that you need to understand before you look at using Teams to replace your current phone system. First of all, Teams requires additional licensing. Unless you're on an Enterprise 5 or an E5 license, you're going to need to purchase a phone system license. Now, generally, phone system licenses are available on all the other Office 365 or Microsoft 365 packages. Generally, it's about $8 per user. And now, these are current prices. By the time you watch this video, the prices may have changed. So make sure that you confirm the current pricing structure before you move forward. Now, Microsoft does deliver most of the basic PBX features that you would expect in a traditional phone system including features like direct inward dialing, meaning essentially that every employee has their own telephone number that people can call them on. The phone system will accept a voicemail and allow you to forward it to email. It provides some basic call control like call forwarding, simultaneous ring, transfer, find me, follow me type of services. Basic call distribution is also available, things like auto attendant, which essentially allows inbound callers to self-direct their call to an individual or to a, to a department. Hunting, which allows you to distribute incoming calls to a group of telephone numbers. And queuing, which allows you to put calls in a hold pattern until the next available person can take that call. And it also allows you to dial by name. While we've just talked about all the features that Microsoft Teams phone system offers doesn't necessarily mean you can use it for just that $8 licensing fee. You need to connect to the public switch telephone network in order to make and receive calls. Now there are two options to connect to the public switch telephone network or PSTN. The first option Microsoft would appreciate if you bought a domestic or international calling plan. Now the domestic only calling plan is generally $12 per user and it provides you about 3,000 minutes of monthly domestic calling. Now, the international plan includes those 3,000 minutes and by the way these 3,000 minutes for domestic those are United States domestic minutes. There are other minute pools for domestic calling within the EU for example and in other areas where the Microsoft phone system is available. The $24 domestic and international plan in the United States offers those 3,000 minutes for domestic calling and another 600 minutes for international calling. Now these minutes are pooled within the users of a given country. So if you had 50 users in the United States on a domestic plan, they would have collectively about 150,000 minutes to use during the course of any given month. If they ran over those minutes, then they would be billed per minute for any additional 
usage. Now there's an alternative to Microsoft's calling plans and that's called direct routing where you're using a third party carrier or service provider in order to provide your connectivity to the PSTN. Direct routing requires a session border controller or SBC to provide the interface between the Microsoft calling plan and your carrier's SIP, trunks or other connectivity services. Now you can use direct routing if you want to optimize your cost structure or if you have existing carrier services that are still under contract. Generally, it's understood in the industry that using the direct carrier route or direct routing method will provide you a better service and generally better pricing, but it's worth doing the math to compare it to the Microsoft calling plans. Microsoft Teams phone system offers several features and capabilities that your organization will probably need but there are some key limitations that you need to be aware of before you consider it as an alternative to a fully featured PBX platform. So what do you lose when you move to Microsoft phone system? Well, I've mentioned cost. There's some optimization that you want to go through to determine whether or not your costs will go up or decline using the Microsoft Teams phone system. But you also want to consider quality. Now, quality has improved dramatically in the Microsoft environment, but people still report quality issues, so it's not quite up to par with other alternatives in the marketplace as of yet. A couple of capabilities are also lacking in the Microsoft Teams phone system, like a receptionist console that has all of the bells and whistles of uh, most other receptionist consoles available. Microsoft does not offer a fully featured contact center. We've talked about some basic call routing and call handling capabilities, but it doesn't have the omni-channel capabilities that many organizations rely on today and doesn't provide a route for integration of other systems. Extension dialing, you know, the, the ability to dial three or four digits and get the person down the hall or in the office in another state doesn't exist in the Microsoft phone system. So that's going to be a big adoption curve that your users will have to get used to doing without. Those extensions that they've memorized over the years are no longer operable in the Microsoft phone system. The ability to do advanced reporting within Microsoft is also limited. And attempting to integrate your customer relationship management system is also going to be a challenge within Microsoft Teams phone system. If you're using Dynamics from Microsoft, there's a lot more opportunity to integrate there, but other platforms have a lot fewer opportunities to integrate. I mentioned a couple capabilities that are missing. There are lots of enterprise features that come with most traditional PBX systems that are not available in the Microsoft platform. And then the last point I'll mention here is E911 management. Now there's a solution for E911 across both PSTN access options, but they differ greatly. And you'll have to evaluate what the best E911 strategy is for your organization. How do you leverage Microsoft Teams, provide your organization with a single user interface, and also allow them to access all of the advanced features and capabilities that they enjoy today? Well, there is a way, we think the best way of leveraging Teams and the enterprise features and capabilities that organizations need today. Now, we can remove these limitations, but I want to be clear that we're not removing the licensing requirement, that $8 licensing charge that's, a, that's required for everything but E5 packages. That is still required for what we're about to discuss. But the way you remove these limitations in Microsoft Teams phone system is by not using Microsoft Teams phone system as your PBX, by integrating Microsoft Teams with a hosted VoIP or UCAS provider. UCAS uh, stands for Unified Communications as a Service. It's a fully functioning enterprise class PBX platform hosted in the cloud that can integrate through direct routing with Microsoft Teams. It can give you those fully integrated features like uh, contact center and uh, receptionist console. It provides API capabilities to integrate with your CRM and other major software platforms. You don't need an SBC to support the uh, UCAS hosted PPX environment and generally you're going to get superior support from these pure play telephony system providers. And the last item I'll mention here is resiliency. Now if you have the um, bad fortune of being hit with a cyber attack and you need to shut down your Microsoft 365 environment, 
well that means that you'll be shutting down your phone system environment as well and while you're battling a cyber attack the last thing you need is to also impede the ability for your organization to make and receive calls so using a third-party hosted VoIP or your UCAS provider provides you some resiliency so you're not putting everything in the Microsoft environment should the worst happen now I will warn you there are hundreds of hosted VoIP UCAS options in the marketplace so I'm going to strongly recommend that you get some help evaluating all of the options that are available to you in terms of next steps feel free to reach out to me my contact information is in the description of this video I'm happy to have a conversation at your convenience and if you got some value out of this video, I'd really appreciate a like. And I want to thank you in advance for doing that. That helps promote the video so other people can get that same value out of it. And if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and click the subscribe button. That way you can find it in your feed at any time. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.